What is going on everybody and welcome to the results video for the AI only battle. Much anticipated. I've got the 10 sieves, the 10 winners or 10 top 10 in order. Almost there was one tie amongst the top 10. Um, there's some surprises along the way, some things you may find surprising. Um, I didn't look up the list of people if anyone did guess it right. I don't think they did. I feel like one or two people might have, but I'm not 100%. But if they are, shout out to you guys. I will put your name. I'll probably forget to put your name in the comments. But you know who you are. Well done if you did shout it out. Obviously, you can put it in the comments. I trust you. But anyway, in joint ninth and 10th place, first, one of the two, we have Poland. I surprised they made it. They had one. I think they won one of the categories in the info edit. They had like, well, they didn't win, but they had like the fourth biggest army in the world or something crazy, and it shocked me. But yeah, obviously they have two cities, their main stuff. They have this stuff out here. They did pretty well, Poland, and technology-wise, they kept up, and they've survived being amongst some of the bigger sieves, in particular this region of Poland. And they are joined in ninth and tenth. Both had exactly the same amount of points on the system I'm using. Uh, with Qing, who did well to survive out of East Asia, considering early on they had problems with Mongolia. They were next to China and Korea for a long part of the game too. But um, yeah, they did pretty well to get out there and squeeze in level with Poland. Now up into 8th place with a bit of a surprise sieve. A sieve that won a lot of the more neutral categories. So stuff like Wonders, Culture, not really the war -y categories. The sort of stuff you'd expect Switzerland to win in as Switzerland come in 8th place with quite, quite a bit more score than Poland and Qing, I just like to point it out, um, almost double the score. But uh, yeah, Switzerland, don't really know what to say, they have the three cities they settled, they didn't lose any, they didn't gain any, they just did what Switzerland do, they're still here at the end of the game, they came in 8th. Up into 7th, we have the first of the largest sort of sieves in terms of land size, I feel, and that is the Songhai in Africa. They sort of, I don't know what happened for them. They sort of, there was a time when they had a lot of momentum and they sort of stopped. And that's, that's a shame, a real shame that that did happen. But in general, they did very, very well um, to be where they are. And, you know, the Rhodesians, I mean, whether Rhodesia will leave them alive when I push on further is another question. How long will they survive for? I'm not too sure whether they'll make it particularly far. But they've done pretty well. They've got planes. They've not fallen like miles behind or anything. They're still definitely the second strongest in Africa. I don't think there's any denying that one. But um, yeah, that is not not been the best time for them. You would have thought they might have done a bit better considering where they were in about the mid-game. On to sixth spot. A bit of a surprise, but a bit of a quiet save. We have the Kulin out in Australia and... Uh, Micronesia and up more towards sort of just some random parts of North America as well. Fairly good game. Didn't really do much. They took out Hawaii, of course. You may remember at one point. I don't know if Britain are about to attack or something, but um, either way, they've done okay. Don't really know what to say. It's been a shame if they'd have taken out Kimberley. There would have been a few more points up there, and maybe they would have climbed up into the top five, although the top five are a little bit above everybody else. Um, just to fair say, like the Kulin sort of mark a point between the top five and I would maybe even call it at that one maybe that I think there's more of a top three the more you look at it but um up then into fifth place the top five very prestigious we have India in fifth they're a lot bigger than they look that's one thing I learned from the info addicts they, they're just doing generally well they're good for technology they were good all round they're a mixture of sort of like being sort of fourth fifth biggest in the army sciencey stuff and also being right up there with the culture stuff that I said Switzerland were doing really well in, which is stuff nations like Mongolia, Vietnam, fell down and fell a bit short in. And obviously, that's not really a spoiler, because you can imagine they're still to come in this list. But yeah, India in fifth place, just behind fifth, like two points off fifth, considering they're about 20 points ahead of the Kulin. To be one point off fourth is a bit, bit of a sucker punch, but fourth place is their neighbour, Vietnam. Vietnam had an interesting game. They took out the Siam with India's help. Um, they did some other stuff. Most of these cities are actually their own. They obviously just took out China, which is sort of the biggest thing they actually did, despite being quite interesting for the whole game. They didn't really do much warring. Them and Mongolia had very weird games. They both did a lot of settling. Not as much as Mongolia from Vietnam, but the Vietnam did a lot of settling and did very well out of it. Their cities were very good, considering they didn't have too many um, but yeah, Vietnam up in fourth. There's a little bit of a gap now to third place, who was my pick to win. And I'm very surprised they came third. That isn't me fiddling the results, I promise. 
Parthia did come third, just because they're massive. They have a lot of stuff, and again, they're I think culturally, I think they were doing quite well again. Something that some of the other bigger sieves were sort of ignoring. But third place, they are one of only three sieves to breach the 100 point mark. They hit 105 points. Vietnam had 91, India 89. But um, yeah, they are well. They're still well away from um, second, and second is quite away from first. Now on to second place. The biggest surprise of the game. Yes, I know. I'm not making this up. Mongolia are in second. And this is, I'm going to be brutally honest, they fall behind because there was one category, I don't know which one it was, that somebody won and Mongolia didn't even get on the list. Mongolia won on the list, got no points. They came second. Massive surprise. I don't really know what to say. We all expected them to win. But I think they were kind of handicapped by the fact that, you know, when they were so far ahead in categories, they still only got one point more than whoever came second. So that might have disadvantaged them a little bit. But this is how we've always done it. There's always been surprise. I remember when the very dominant Aztecs lost to a Persia once because of how we've done it. And this is how we've always done it. So Mongolia are second. And the winner is Rhodesia. They won. Like I said, there was one category. Rhodesia actually came first, not just like on the list. I mean, Rhodesia actually won by 16 points. So Mongolia got 124, which is 19 more than Parthia. And then there was 16 more to Rhodesia. So that's sort of a category and a half for Rhodesia to beat Mongolia. So probably two categories where Mongolia... Because for most of the way, it was Mongolia winning, Rhodesia getting 9, Mongolia getting 10, and a few where it was the other way around. But then there was just a couple of categories where Mongolia didn't appear at all. Rhodesia got up there and got 10s and 9s, not just like appearing in the middle. And that's won it for them. They've been pretty interesting. They took out the Congo. I mean, if you look at them, face value, where they actually are, they do look stronger. But yeah, that is that is it. I'm going to quickly just check. I've got the comments up now, so I can check. Did anyone pick Rhodesia? Um, so yeah, just, just bear with me for like just a second. Rhodesia, yep, Kiloan Empire, you picked Rhodesia. Good job. I don't want to miss anybody, which is also a problem with doing it now as I scroll through. But it doesn't... I don't know if anyone else did. Um... Lots of picks for Mongolias. I see all these people. I feel your pain. Oh, no. Um, yep. Wolfhound817 and friends. Again, another pick for Rhodesia there. So, congratulations again. Wyatt Think. That's the third one for Rhodesia. Good job. Shout out to everybody. Um, Monkey Walrus. That is a fourth pick. Four people getting it right. That's pretty impressive, especially if someone else gets it right. Um... I don't want to miss anybody. I've got to be very careful. Um, which is why I probably should have just not done it at all. Um, no, lots of Zulu, Congo. Nope, that doesn't count. Well, that is it, I think, for Rhodesia. Sorry if I missed you out. And obviously anyone who didn't comment. I know a lot of people just choose not to comment. But um, that thought Rhodesia might win. Good job. They have won. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. We will next be going on to turn 500. I'm not going to show the info addicts now because... I don't know. I'm not going to. I will show them at turn five. Actually, here I am. You know what? Why Why wouldn't I? That was a stupid thing. don't know why I thought I wouldn't. I <laughs> got confused there. Yes, we are going to quickly flick over them. I'm not going to go over them in massive detail. But population, we have Rhodesia with 47 million. Mongolia, 35 million. Parthia, 31 million. Vietnam, 31 as well. India, 21 here. I'll, I'll sort of leave it here for a sec, but I'm going to just try and flick through the top little fives. I'm not going to go over all of it. Mongolia had the most food, 823 million bushels ahead of Rhodesia at 580. Parthia, 480. Vietnam, 367. The Kulin, 316. Production, once again, Mongolia beat Rhodesia by quite some way. Parthia, then a half of what Rhodesia had. Vietnam, fourth. Songhai, fifth again. That's sort of a recurring top five. I don't really know how in India, like I said, squeezed in on some of the more culturally sort of things. GMP. Mongolia and Rhodesia once again miles out ahead of the competition. Parthia in third, Songhai fourth, and India in fifth. Land area, Mongolia leading again. This time Parthia came second, Rhodesia third, Kulin fourth, Vietnam fifth. Military manpower, Rhodesia winning this one by a landslide. 856,000 soldiers to, Viet to Mongolia's 591,000. Then you had Parthia and the Kulin in the 400,000s. India were next up on the list. Social policies, India won, there you go, Switzerland came second, this was one of the big ones for them, Rhodesia there in third, Mongolia rank only came eighth, this is one of the big categories for Rhodesia, obviously. 
Happiness, quite a big one. Um, India winning, Switzerland winning both in the 80s. Persia 78, Rhodesia up here, Mongolia in fifth. So um, that was pretty neck and neck at that stage. Technologies, Rhodesia out in the lead 68, Vietnam 67, Mongolia on 63, India and Korea and the Kulin all in a tie on 59. Net gold, another big one. India won that one. Vietnam second, Kimberly came third. I don't think I counted this one because definitely they have Kimberly down as coming third in their category. Belgium, the Sicilies, Rhodesia, Korea, Switzerland. All up and about. Cities, Mongolia won it 37. Parthia had 17. Rhodesia 16. The Kulin and Songhai both had... Kulin had 13? Seems crazy. Same for the Songhai's 13. But Songhai of Africa, South America, so that makes a bit more sense. Um, science output, Rhodesia were dominating here. 1,532. Mongolia was second. Vietnam third. Parthia fourth. India fifth. Culture output, Mongolia, Rhodesia, India, Parthia, Vietnam. Wonders. Rhodesia had 10, Vietnam 8, India 4, Switzerland and Kimberley on 3, and Parthia, Poland, Sicily's Ching on 2. Whew, we're getting there. We won't look at everything, like I said. Faith Game, which is kind of important one. The Songhai had 120, 70 for Mercuria, Rhodesia, 55 India, 44 Poland. Uh, great works, we'll look at that. Parthia 26, Mongolia 25, 17 Vietnam, 15 Kulin, 14 Rhodesia. Nobody was influential over the whole world. Rhodesia and Mongolia were both pretty close, 14 and 13. And quickly to finish it off, we will look at the world religions. The biggest religion was Hinduism from India, 82 cities. We had Sikhism from Mercuria in 47 cities. And then a few minor religions, which was Eastern Orthodox from Ethiopia in 17 cities. Buddhism from Wallachia in 15 cities. Islam from Arabia in 10 cities. Catholicism from Congo was in 4 cities. And then finally Shinto from Japan in 1 city. That is going to be up this series. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Remember there's a new format of how I upload coming in tomorrow. So you'll see two videos a day, 15 minutes. We'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the series. Be sure to check out the new one starting either tomorrow or two days time. And I will see you very soon.